Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Tech Beans and this my friends is the Honor Play. This is the phone I have truly been waiting for. Right here we have one of the best bang for the buck phones out there. Oh my god, you will not believe what specs this phone has for the price. If you were considering on buying the Nova 3i right here, I recommend that you reconsider right now because this provides twice the value as the Nova 3i right here. Oh my god. Can you believe that this phone right here has the same processor as the Huawei P20 Pro? Yes, that same flagship processor is within the Honor Play right here. And how much is the Honor Play? 16,000 pesos. The same as the Nova 3i right here. This is directly competing with the Nova 3i right here. <laughs> it's competing with its own brand. And yes, I have read and watched a lot of reviews coming from the Honor Play and most of them have been really positive. So I'm really excited to see what the Honor Play can do. But before we start, yes, we only have two weeks left until I give away this Huawei Nova 3i to one lucky subscriber. And all you need to do to join is subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of my great content. And without further ado, let the unboxing begin. No. Okay, here we go. So I'm just gonna show you the box right here. And my unit right here has four gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of ROM, and it's color, navy blue. It's time to open you. Careful now, it's quite heavy. Wow, okay. Okay, we're presented with some plastic. Whoa, no plastic at the front. First time. Oh, there's some plastic at the back. Well, they had to cut costs somewhere. <laughs> okay, I'll set this aside for now. Let's just see what else is in the box. SIM ejector pin right there. The quick start guide right here. And right here we have the warranty card. And here's the jelly case. Okay. And right here we have the USB Type-C cable. It looks like it has quick charging. And yes, it does have quick charge technology right there. Huawei quick charger. Boom. Paniska no battery ay. Nakanito. And finally, we have earpod looking earphones. And that's pretty much it. Let the peeling begin. Nice. Look at that, people. That looks so premium right there. That's a metal back right there, a matte finish. So fingerprints are totally not gonna stay. Very nice, I love that. So pretty much it looks like the Nova 3i at the back. The only difference is that the Nova 3i has a glass back. This one has a metal back and it has this antenna bands right here at the top and the bottom right here. And just like the Nova 3i, we have the branding name right here and AI camera, the dual camera lens right here, the fingerprint sensor, and here's the Nova 3i for comparison purposes. And yes, the Honor Plate also has a headphone jack right there. Now the Nova 3i only has micro USB port right there, as opposed to the USB Type-C port right here on the Honor Play. And at the right side of the phone, we have here the power button and the volume rockers. And at the left side, we have the SIM tray. And right here, we have a dedicated SIM slot and a hybrid SIM slot right there for the SD card slot. So yeah, it's actually expandable. Great. Now it's time to open the beast. Honor, all right. Look at that, the notch. Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, so from what I'm seeing right here, they actually pretty much have the same dimensions right here. Same notch, same chin, just without the branding name right there on the Nova 3i. And there it is, look at that. I'm actually digging the wallpaper right here. This is actually an IPS display right here. It's actually much better than the TFT display on the Nova 3i. Better viewing angles right there and better color accuracy. So yeah, it pretty much has the same software right here in Movie 8.2. And yes, I have just updated the software right here and I'm ready to go. All right, I want to test out the charging on this thing. I just fully drained it right now. And let's start. Here's 15 minutes. 30 minutes, 1 hour, 1 hour and 30 minutes, and finally 1 hour and 45 minutes at 100%. Yes, 
So yeah, it does charge up really fast. So far, so good for the Honor Play. And there's the LED notification light. And now it's all charged up. I'm gonna be doing the usual 1R battery drain test right here while playing PUBG. Start right now. So yes, these are the settings that you can get for PUBG. You can actually go to HDR right here. Ultra frame rates, realistic. So yeah, let's just start playing. And right from the get-go, everything looks fantastic. Everything looks stunning. That is what you're gonna get for the Honor Play, guys. Oh my god. Seriously, guys, this is PUBG playing at HDR on a 16,000 peso phone right here. <laughs> Unbelievable. See that? It's still smooth. Even at HDR, it's really, really smooth right there. Look at that. So beautiful. That's the 6.3 inch IPS display on the Honor Play. The viewing angles is not perfect. It's still good. So yeah, it's running on a Kirin 970 processor, a Mali G72 GPU with GPU Turbo. So what the GPU Turbo is doing right here, it's actually turbo boosting the processor and the GPU so that it would actually be much, much faster and much more efficient than the usual processor and GPU. Okay, I have been playing for 15 minutes here already. So I'm just gonna check how hot this thing is. It's actually quite warm already at my hand. Wow, it's quite hot, 44.5 degrees Celsius. The Nova Free Eye only reached 39 to 40 degrees Celsius, so. But this is actually playing on HDR. The Nova Free Eye only played at HD, so 44 degrees is actually understandable. The higher the graphics, the hotter the device is gonna be because the processor in the GPU is working twice as harder. All right, it's 30 minutes, so I already died right here, and this is in spectate mode. So let me just see the battery levels now. 90% in 30 minutes. Wow. And now 89%. So yes, this is quite understandable because it's playing in HDR. There is just so much processing and GPU power required for the game. So it's, it's fairly understandable. It's really not a big surprise. All right, 77%. HDR graphics, that is still quite good. Oh my god, this is a winner, guys. And now for the camera comparison between the Nova Free Eye and the Honor Play. And at first glance, the Nova Free Eye looks better. The Honor Play is kind of overexposed, but in terms of sharpness, both look equally sharp. The level of saturation in AI mode is also equal. By the way, the camera specs is in the descriptions below if you want to check it out. It also has better HDR, as you can see right here. And coming into low light, I was kind of surprised that the Honor Play was actually much, much better. It doesn't look as soft as the Nova Free Eye, and also the lights don't look blown out. Very nice. And here are some selfie photos. Enjoy. All right, now for a 1080p video, I'm just gonna take a walk right here, and from what I'm seeing right here, the Honor Play has some stabilization going on there. So yeah, you're actually gonna get some image stabilization here on Full HD. Very nice. And also, the Honor Play does not have the same level of saturation as the Nova Free Eye right here. The Nova Free Eye is really, really saturated. And uh, you know, it's, it's really making everything so lively. But in terms of image quality, the Nova Free Eye seems to look better right there. Okay, here's a 4K video on the Honor Play. As you can see, the stabilization just disappeared because it doesn't support stabilization in 4K. Bummer. Oh well, at least you get 4K. That's good enough. And this is the rear video test at night. As you can see, the Nova Free Eye does have a lot of noise right there, but in terms of exposure, the Nova Free Eye is better. Just that it's much, much noisier. And I'm just gonna do a quick walk right here. Hmm. Okay. I guess the better rear shooter right here is the Nova Free Eye. You can really see the extra details right there on the floor. The Honor Play is just way too soft right here. So yeah, the Nova Free Eye is the much better low light rear shooter right here. 
Well, at least for the video. For the photos though, I think the Honor Play is much better. I'm not sure why the video quality here on the Honor Play is just terrible at night. Oh, I see now. It actually zooms in when you apply the stabilizer right here. So here's the stabilizer on, and when you turn it off, it actually zooms out. Better quality. So what it's actually doing is it's cropping the image right here to apply the stabilization. Kind of a bummer. And there you go. Better image quality. And there you go. Okay. Hmm. A lot sharper now. Alright, so this is the selfie video test. This is a 720p video. There is no 1080p video for the selfie camera. So this is the quality that you're going to get for both selfie cameras. The beauty filters right here is set at default number 5. Now I do see that the beauty filter on the Nova 3i is much more intense even though they are at the same intensity level. Alright, this is the selfie low light video test and from what I'm seeing right now, the Honor Play is much much better exposed here. Image quality wise and sharpness, the Honor Play is just way way better than the Nova 3i. I'm just gonna take a walk right here at the darker part just to see the quality change. And yes, the Honor Play still retains so much of the quality and on the Nova 3i, it's just so dark. And just look at the background right there on the Honor Play. There is just so much more that you can see on the Honor Play compared to the Nova 3i. This is just a killer low light shooter right here. Hey, so I'm back at my place and yes, this is the quality that you're gonna get indoors. And so far, I believe that the Honor Play is much, much better than the Nova 3i. Well, at least in the video department. But for the photos, I think the Nova 3i is a little bit better. And that's for the camera. But performance-wise, there is no question about it. The Honor Play is much, much faster and much smoother than the Nova 3i. Oh my god. I don't know how Honor did it. <laughs> 16,000 pesos. What? Well, the Honor Play does not have James Reid after all, and the Nova 3i does, but the Honor Play does have me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's pretty much it for this unboxing video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to be having an in-depth comparison for both of these, battery, speed. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss it. This is Vince Domingo from Tech Beans, and I'll see you on the next video.